In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make the Raspberry Pi speak. So in this tutorial, we talk about uh, generating speech from the Raspberry Pi through a speaker. So you can say make text uh, strings or text documents and then have the Raspberry Pi read them to you out loud or develop, say, a robot that speaks back to you uh, based on something you write into a program or something you write on the command line. We'll start out by just talking really quickly and showing how to um, make the Raspberry Pi speak through the command line using eSpeak and we'll finish up by going over how we do that through a Python program um, that we pre-write and then have it uh, read aloud uh, some numbers. Uh, to get ready I've got a couple of things set up first. Um, I've got the physical setup which I'll show you a quick video of in just a minute. Um, I'm logged into the Raspberry Pi. We're running Raspbian for Robots, the operating system by Dexter Industries for using the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so I can see I've got the desktop set up here and just for ease of use I've got the command line I'm SSH'd into it. So I'm recording this on um, my local PC and I'm doing it remotely on the Raspberry Pi. So you can follow along um, to the commands and uh, how I set things up. The Raspberry Pi speak. I've got my physical setup here. I've got um, a Raspberry Pi. I'm running Raspbian for robots on it. And I'm connected over Ethernet, although this was easily done over Wi-Fi or um, however you typically connect into your uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, I've got a Grove Pi here on top of the button, and um, this actually works on any one of our robots to go Pi Go, the Grove Pi, or the Brick Pi. And finally, I've got a, this Raspberry Pi speaker. So this is sold by Dexter Industries, and it's fully charged, but if you don't have a charge, you can charge it via USB. And the power is on, and the volume is all the way up. And the speaker is connected to the Raspberry Pi via the aux jack on the Raspberry Pi. And that's the physical setup for this tutorial. A few quick commands. We've got the hardware set up, so now we'll just test to make sure that the speakers are working. We can do that with, um, with A play. Uh, so in here I'm going to type A, A play, and then in the user file, share, backslash share, backslash sounds, backlash alsa and then anything in that uh, directory so this should play out loud anything that's in that directory front, center front left front right rear center rear left rear right side left side right so you also should have at this point um, eSpeak installed and that uh, is a simple installation it should be uh, sudo apt-get eSpeak. It's our sudo apt-get install eSpeak. And I'll have this installed already, so it's going to just uh, take, take a second to try to update it. Nothing installed, nothing upgraded. But the command was sudo apt-get install eSpeak. All of these commands are written down on the tutorial, which I'll put a link uh, we, we have a written tutorial on our website. I'll put a link to at the bottom of this um, this video. So finally, let's go ahead and test it out and make sure that um, we can actually play some text. Um, we're going to do that with the eSpeak command, and we're going to um, just do a quick hello world with the speaker. So if I type in eSpeak and then the text that I want to say, hello world, and I'm going to put in this two and a uh, side carrot and then dev and then backslash null. So <clears throat> I'll show you what that looks like without it, but it's going to throw, it's going to give you some more feedback and errors when, uh, if you don't put in the last bit about two um, greater than backslash dev null. Hello world. Great. So we have the computer saying that. We'll try it one more time. Hello world. You'll see that the, if we take out that, uh, the two back, two greater than dev null, statement um, we'll get back a little bit more information so just spit out some some monitoring information about what's going on with uh, alsa and eSpeak. Um, we're putting in that two greater than dev null here to make sure that we don't get as much back when we say it out, out loud we can change that to just about anything we want the, the computer to say and say we just wanted to say uh, dexter industries we can type in dexter industries here dexter industries 
great. Or we can say, say Raspberry Pi with the computer. Raspberry Pi. Great. And that's how we get it to speak. Uh, we know we've got everything set up correctly, and that's how we test it, and that's how we get it to speak uh, using the Raspberry Pi. So before we go any further into Python, I just want to show you a few more things that you can do. You have a few different voices, for example, that you can access um, through the command line. So if you in the you can um, access them through the modifier um, dash ven plus m or f, whether you want a male or female voice, and then the number voice. So you have you have say seven different voices that are male, and you have four different voices that are female on the um, on the Raspberry or on, on eSpeak. So if I were to say take my last command uh, eSpeak and then put in a modifier on the command line, just VEN plus M5, we'll see that I get a slightly different voice on that. If I do. We'll call it dash VEN plus M as in Mary, five, the number five. And then I've written Dexter, Dexter Industries here. Industries. Get a slightly different different voice there. Let's see what we'll call it. We'll try the first male voice. Industries. Not much of a big difference there, but you should be able to. If we wanted to change it to F1, we we'll, should be able to get a female voice. So I've changed the modifier to VEN plus F, as in Frank one, and then Dexter Industries. Dexter Industries. Sounds a little bit more like a woman. We can try a slightly different voice there if we use female four. Sounds a lot the same, but you do have four different female voices you can use. Uh, you can also add a gap or make it speak a little bit slower. So um, in the speech using the command line. So if I wanted to say add a gap, I'd use the modifier dash G um, and this puts um, a little bit of space in between the different words. Let's see how that sounds. If I type in eSpeak dash G and then a number after that, um, say G10, we say Dexter Industries. Dexter Industries. Get a little bit of a pause in there. Let's see if we open that up a little bit. So we'll do G-100. Dexter Industries. Great, so we see that just putting a long pause in between each uh, word. Let's try it with Few more words. We'll do Dexter Industries and Raspberry Pi. Dexter Industries at Raspberry Pi. Great. So now you can see that's how you sort of add a gap in between different words or maybe make the computer slow down. Finally, let's move into just making the Raspberry Pi speak using Python. This could be really valuable if you wanted to, say, make, again, a robot that speaks or make your Raspberry Pi somehow speak, but you want to do it rather than through the command line, um, you want to do it through a program. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of things to set that up. The first thing is we're going to install a package for Python called num2words. That is sudo pip3. Uh, as soon as you have pip installed, if you're using Raspbian for robots, robots it's already installed. Um, install num two words, and that should take a second to install. Great, we've got that installed successfully on the Raspberry Pi. And the next thing I want to do is actually get the GitHub repo of some examples here. So in Dexter Industries, we have some we have an example repo for Raspberry Pi speech, and that's GitHub.com backslash Dexter end backslash Raspberry underscore Pi underscore speech. So I can just take that and copy that address here to get some of the examples, and then in the command line, I'm gonna just type in. Uh, sudo git clone and then that website address that we just copied down and uh, you'll see it copied into a directory we should see yep we see raspberry pi speech there and then um, we'll just change directories in there we should see a couple of different examples that we have um, on the uh, see these examples on the Raspberry Pi. Great, so we've got the README, and then we've got speak count, which is going to count numbers and speak out loud, and then speak text, which is going to speak some text out loud for us. So taking a quick look at what the code is and what it's doing, 
um, we've imported the uh, number two words package, um, and we've also imported a sub -pro the the package called subprocess, and in that we're sub using a another process called call. What this is going to do is, um, if we use it, we'll see at the end we're using it down here. It's going to um, it's going to actually pump and pipe any text from our program onto the command line. So what we're essentially going to try to do um, in this program is put together a text string that we want to see printed on the command line. So the Python will assemble the text string, text string, and then just put it directly on the command line, and that will run the program. So you can do this with other, um, say, other Linux calls like ls or cd um, to navigate around a file structure or something like that. But in this case, we're going to use it to assemble that eSpeak uh, string, uh, eSpeak command string. So we've got two variables here that are going to surround the number that we want to say out loud. The first one is eSpeak and a space, and that's going to be the beginning of the eSpeak call. And then finally, we've got the two greater than dev null. So we're going to add this at the end, and that will um, make sure that we don't have a lot of uh, um, uh, feedback coming back on the um, on the when we run the Python program. So. In here, we go ahead and we we get a number for the command line, then we convert that number into a string value, and then we enter it into a for loop where we're doing the uh, the the number is uh, passed in string value to the variable command, and then it's all assembled here in this line, the final line, um, where we make the call, which is when we pump it into uh, into the bash um, command line. And that call will look like the command begin, which is that value, the string eSpeak, and then the CMD, the command, and that's going to be the um, the value of the number that we're going to say out loud, and the command end, which is going to be the value of this 2 is greater than dev null, sending it out to the shell. So we'll go ahead and run it in sudo python3, and then we're running uh, speak count, speak underscore count dot pi. So we'll say countdown from saying enter a number. I enter the number, say five. We'll count down from five. Five countdown starts. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Great. Did exactly what we wanted it to do. Let's try running that one more time. We'll just do it from three here. Three countdown starts. Three, two, one, zero. Cool. That's how we sort of make it run with the countdown. We've got a second example in here. Um, this is just going to say anything that we type in. It's called speak underscore text dot pi. So why don't we take a look at that file really quick. So in this Python program, we see a lot of the same stuff that we used in the last Python program. We've got the num2 words, and that's going to change our the actual number into a word that we can speak out loud. So change it to a, a string. And we're also using subprocess and call to uh, take string commands and put them onto the bash command line. So we've got three different parts here. We've got the eSpeak and we've got a, um, a uh, vertical bar and then a play. So this line is going to um, record what the computer is saying directly to a wave file so we can play it back. And then finally we've got a dot dots our dash dash standard out. So this will help us all store uh, what we say to a wave file and it will help us to um, um, also say it out loud. So we get text input to prompt the user to say enter the text and then we replace any spaces with underscores and then um, we go ahead and command call the uh, TTS engine, the eSpeak, to go ahead and say the command begin, what we recorded, command out, the text, and then the command end. So let's see how this works. sudo python3 and then uh, speak underscore text say hello world of course hello world great and it said it out loud now you should be able to go to the desktop and see that file uh, in wave but let's go ahead and see if we have any wave files on there there we go we've got text.wave stuck in the uh, on the uh, desktop as well so let's go back real quick and And that should take us to the end. So now we've seen how to record a, uh, uh, or how to how to say 
text using the command line, so make the Raspberry Pi sort of read off strings or things that we type in using the command line, and also how to do it with, uh, with Python. So you should be ready to go out and build some robots and make them say things. So good luck.